Hi, I'm Jonathan Rowe, director of the UNCW Entrepreneurship Center. It's my pleasure to be here with the founder of Eco Express, Russ, Russ Britton, who's our professional services category award winner for the Entrepreneur Awards. Russ, let's talk a little bit about Eco Express. Um, well, Eco Express, we're a specialized contracting company, and we focus on erosion control, uh, stormwater management, and industrial landscaping. Now, let's talk quickly about why are some of those things so important nowadays. Uh, well, the, you know, the EPA has a lot of requirements uh, to, that we have to meet, well, developers have to meet on site, and uh, it's becoming more demanding each year, so we've decided to be a specialized company to help them navigate through those requirements. That's great, and so you do work closely with developers, they're one of your key sort of target markets, if yeah, you Yeah, developers and, yeah, developers and uh, project owners, yes. And the great thing, I, I assume, with this is there's a lot of environmental benefits w with the work you guys do. Yeah, absolutely. You know, protecting our waterways mm -hmm. and uh, trying to find green, innovative ways to, to handle erosion control and our water runoff. And how have you guys sort of developed this expertise and success in your niche? Because I imagine there's some competition out there trying to do similar things. Yeah, uh, well, um, it's a big issue on the West Coast. So uh, before we s I started the company, we um, flew out to Oregon. Mm -hmm and studied what they were doing around some of the most sensitive waterways hmm. in the country. So you've looked at some of the best practices, clearly. Yeah, right? yeah. Well, the first program I observed was uh, Soils for Salmon, mm -hmm. you know, around the Puget Sound. And Interesting. We, so. Yeah, and, and talk a little bit quickly about the recognition with the award. Uh, no, it means a lot to us, you know. I was thinking about that, and the first thing is we survived the economic downturn, you know, so yeah. <laughs> for us being here. And the other is just, uh, I think, a recognition of all the hard work of our guys have that our employees have put in this year. Excellent, and congratulations. And for viewers who would like to learn more about Eco Express, go to ecoecoexpressllc.com. In 2003, Russ Britton decided to leave a very comfortable career in the financial services industry to start Echo Express. I know it was a tough decision. While Russ was very successful in his career, his work did not fulfill his lifelong passion for environmental science and entrepreneurship. A passion inspired by growing up in a family surrounded by entrepreneurs and farming. With the support of his wife, Russ invested their financial savings and put their house on the market to purchase almost a half a million dollars worth of equipment to start Echo Express. What's impressive is that Russ did this without even having one customer lined up. Russ had a vision and he believed in it. He trusted his instincts and leveraged the lessons learned from his entrepreneurial family and career in finance. By doing so, Echo Express solved several challenges in a fragmented marketplace and has created a compelling value proposition for his clients. As many businesses struggled through our last economic downturn, Echo Express was able to thrive. While Russ will be modest and call this luck, I believe there's more to it. People who work hard and continuously innovate seem to be the ones who are luckiest. This is certainly true for Russ. Today, Echo Express has 35 employees and has positively impacted our community both environmentally and economically. Russ, it is an honor to present you and your team with this year's Entrepreneur Award. I didn't know I was going to have to say anything this morning. So, uh, first of all, thanks for having me here. Um, first one is I want to thank the community. What a great town to work in. Um, I came here from Charlotte and uh, in the brokerage business, and this town just embraced, you know, uh, me and my family. And uh, I guess maybe some of you I see out there remember me working with the Britton Tinsley Group, with Kelly and I, working at UBS, and. Uh, it was just a great town to build that business. And then I want to apologize for any clients that I just ran out on to start another business. <laughs> I mean, I've seen a couple of people here today that I, you know, I've talked to a few times, but were clients in the brokerage business. And I just, I know they woke up one day and said, what in the heck's he doing? You know, because I was more interested in 
trying to stop erosion with compost than talking about your 401k or your latest stock pick. And as much as I love that, you know, you're from a husky North Carolina, you like dirt. And, uh, but anyhow, um, no, this means a lot to us. And uh, I want to thank this community has been great also to, to, to start a new business because events like this really kind of bring up the topics that you need to discuss to start a new business. And uh, without going to a lot of events like this, when I was a broker and being trained as a broker and, uh, and you know, in the last few years, you know, I don't think I'd had the encouragement to do some of the things I've done. So uh, anyhow, um, first of all, I just want to thank my, my manager, Steve Rogers. Um, he has been great at our company. He's put up with me for the last five or six years and uh, been real key to us being able to branch out to the military and the DOT and uh, working with municipalities and really doing, fulfilling my dream of being a company that uh, is on time, does projects right the first way, and keeping looking at better better ways to implement um, stormwater management, erosion control, and uh, I don't know, we're, we're just having a lot of fun, and I just want to thank everybody. This means a lot to us, and uh, thank you.